your TV screens. And they're there on the platform. And of course, you have uh, the people who have come here for this occasion waiting with a bated breath and a rapt attention to listen and hear what the presidential hopeful of their political party, the party they support, the All Progressives uh, Congress, will be saying at the occasion of the Buhari or Shimbajo 2015 presidential campaign flag off. Well, at the moment, there is some movement on the uh, platform there. And believing that it is in preparation. But that's the chairman of the APC, Chief John Oyegu. Happy New Year. Have you made your resolutions yet? What is your resolution for this new year? PDP out. PDP Jonathan. PDP. Now I know you are ready. I must tell you. I must tell you, the whole nation, the whole of Nigeria is jealous of Rivers State because the train of change is setting out from Rivers State. Great people of Rivers State, are you happy? Who is your president? Who is your president? Nigeria. Nigeria. Like your governor said, we are just escorting the train of Buhari and Professor Oshibajo. But before I do that, where is your candidate for governor? Where is Dakuku? River say Dakuku. Do I have your authority to give him this flag? Are you going to vote him the last governor of River State? With the approval of your people, I present you this flag. I will ask for it in government house. Great people of River State. The APC National Chairman, Chief John Oyegun, has just handed the APC flag to the party's governorship candidate in River State, Honorable Dakuku Peter Side. I present to you the president in waiting of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Do you want electricity? Do you want better security? Do you want to wipe out corruption? Take a good look at that man there. He is as straight in character as his figure is in figurative terms. Is that not the kind of man you want for your president? Number two. Take a look at his vice. These two people were deliberately chosen. The vice is to let you know that hard work pays. Hard work brings success. He is not only a professor, which is the highest point of that career. He is also a senior advocate of Nigeria. Are these not the two people you want in this era of change? General Buhari was ahead of his time. 
His time has finally come. Do you not say so? If you want corruption wiped out, who are you going to vote for? If you want Boko Haram not to overtake all of us, who do you want to vote for? If you want discipline, because one of our worst problems is in discipline. If you want discipline in this nation, who are you going to vote for? My job is done. My work is done. Let Buhari come forward. General Muhammadu Buhari, please step forward. The people of Nigeria want to hear what you have in store for them. God bless you. Baba! Baba! ABC! 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 The National Chairman, Chief Ajegun, the host governor, Chief Amechi, the governors that are here of Lagos, Ogun State, the former governors, members of the National Working Committee, distinguished senators, honorable members of the House of Representatives and Assemblies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Uh, firstly, my running mate has been adequately introduced with his fine intellectual achievement and his experience in political office as a commissioner of justice and attorney general of Lagos State, where they work closely together with the present governor, who was then the chief of staff in Lagos, and uh, Aswaju Bola Tinibu. Your Excellencies, I would like firstly to thank the governor of Rupert State profusely and congratulate him for being the director general of the presidential campaign team. He earned it in the sense that a committee forwarded names to me and he was heading the committee. So I do not close my eyes and pick anybody. We came processes recognized by our great party and he and I thank him very much for accepting it because it is a lot of hard work it is a lot of sacrifice and the way he has mobilized people to flag up the campaign presidential campaign today is the indication that uh, we have made a wise choice but I assume that all of us here represent certain constituencies. My appeal to you is what has already been said by the governor. Let us please make sure all those that are entitled to vote, 18 years and above, have got their PBC, permanent voters card. And let them be prepared to spend the whole day in the queue if necessary to make sure they vote and let them make sure that their vote count. The fundamental issues facing this country is insecurity and the problem of the economy, which was being made worse by corruption. I assure you that we are going to finally assemble a competent team of Nigerians to efficiently manage this country. I am appealing to you, the damage that has been done to this country is great. The level of unemployment, the level of insecurity is intolerable. The damage has been done, it will take time, it will take patience, it will take support from you to make sure that we succeed having got there. I have to be brief because of the fatigue shown by some of our colleagues that are going away. 
the campaign for 2015.